Letter fifty four of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Mrs. Ross, Luxor, February seventh, eighteen sixty five. Dearest Janet, it is quite heart rending about my letters. I have got the eye, evidently. The black slave of the poor dragoman who died in my house is still here, and like a dog that has lost his master, has devoted himself to me. It seems nobody's business to take him away, as the Kadi did the money and the goods, and so it looks as if I should quietly inherit poor ugly Kair. He is of a degree of ugliness quite transcendent, with teeth filed sharp in order to eat people, as he says, but the most good-humored creature and a very fair laundry maid. It is evidently no concern of mine to send him to be sold in Cairo, so I wait the event. If nobody ever claims him, I shall keep him at whatever wages may seem fit, and he will subside into liberty. Du rest, the Maun here says he is legally entitled to his freedom. If the new French consul general will let me stay on here, I will leave my furniture and come down straight to your hospitable roof in Alexandria, en route for Europe. I fear my plan of a dahabiyah of my own would be too expensive. The wages of common boatmen now are three Napoleons a month. Monsieur Prevost Pradal, whose company has been a real bon fortune to me, will speak to the consul general. I know all Thebes would sign a round robin in my favor if they only knew how, for I am very popular here, and the only Hakim. I have effected some brilliant cures, and get lots of presents, eggs, turkeys, etc., etc., it is quite a pleasure to see how the poor people, instead of trying to sponge on one, are anxious to make a return for kindness. I give nothing whatever but my physic. These country people are very good. A nice young Circassian Kawas sat up with the stranger, a dying Englishman, all night because I had doctored his wife. I have also a pupil, Mustafa's youngest boy, a sweet, intelligent lad who is pining for an education. I wish he could go to England. He speaks English very well, and reads and writes indifferently, but I never saw a boy so wild to learn. Is it difficult to get a boy into the Abyssia College? As it is gratuitous, I suppose it is. I quite grieve over little Achmet, forced to dwaddle away his time and his faculties here. End of letter 54 Read by Sibella Denton All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.